What is up, you absolute stunners? Welcome back to Budget Cars and Bikes. We are in the kitchen. That can mean only one thing. We've got something car related or bike related to review on the channel. This is the new articulating industrial ball scope from Kai Wheats, which they've just kindly sent out. And we're going to put it through its paces and talk about what it can do. And uh, should you get one, really, I guess. If you're interested in one of these, then keep watching and uh, we'll unbox it and find out exactly what's here. Well, as I said, guys, this is the articulating industrial ball scope. I don't even know what articulating means, if I'm honest, but uh, it is a ball scope, essentially. For those of you that know, this will basically record and show you the inside of your engine. That's primarily its function. But of course, as with anything else like this, you can use it for a myriad of things. You can even use it around the house. I'm going to try to explain why and how in a second. I'm not going to start taking spark plugs out of my car and sticking this down inside the engine because you know how these things work I'm sure otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video but effectively Kaiweets Kaiweets have sent this out huge shout out to them as well for supporting the channel they've sent out a few things now much much appreciated and the quality of their stuff and I'm not just saying it because they send it out but the quality of their stuff seems to be second to none actually I really do like the quality of their gear and this is no exception as you can see I mean there's my hand there's my hand and it's quite a big box actually I expected this to be uh, you know a tiny little kind of handheld device but it seems to be a little bit more than that it has got a 1.5 meter cable as well it will record of course so you can look back at all your footage over and over again in 1080p we'll just flip this box over see what's on the opposite side and as predicted here are all the tech specs as it were down here as i said 1920 by 1080p you've got a cmos sensor 70 degree viewing angle it's waterproof ip67 it has a 2000 milliamp battery and the battery life should be around about three and a half hours type c connection of course with a 4.3 inch screen and there is a little bit more gumph down there as well just picture wise and some little kind of qr codes anyway that is basically what is on the box what is in the box is more interesting so uh, let's get this open and find out so there it is as usual with the kaiweet stuff you get a lovely case that it comes in as well we'll just quickly whip that out of there and there it is in its kind of ziplock bag and almost like a satchel really with a double zip on there. A reinforced protection here as well, which is always nice to see with something like this. And a little carry handle up oh, there, just there. And uh, obviously we want to see what's inside, don't we? As you would expect, you get your user manual just down there. That's pretty concise actually for one of these. I'm assuming that's because it's got all sorts of different languages. But uh, yeah, we'll go through that in a second. What I'm more interested in is what's in here. Okay then, well, uh, I'm not sure Sure what that is about it will become apparent I'm sure at some point but there is well let's have a look at this this is just a type-c charging cable basically I'm not sure you'll be able to do updates with the software because I wouldn't imagine there are any software updates really it's not a computer based product it is effectively a camera on a stick if that makes sense but uh, yeah well if I try to pull that back you'll see how long that cable is that's pretty enormous 1.5 meters we're hoping there's going to be some power in here as well there's your little screen protector there is the unit itself and here if we can just bend this up and around because obviously this is able to be bent into all sorts of different angles there is your little camera scope there i'm assuming there's a light on the end of there but i don't know i guess we will find out you'll have to excuse me while i fumble about here a little bit guys let me just back out slightly there we go that's a bit better and there's the box there's the cable as you can see now let's try and power this on for the first time if we can find the power button i think that's it just there oh blimey that was quick no camera please wait no camera oh there we are and then there's and there's the light as i said there and as you can see that is the camera looking around the kitchen. I might have this upside down because obviously you're gonna to need to just turn it as I'm turning it here and then that'll give you a better angle. So that's obviously its top center there. And you can just look around and do all the lovely things. What's the quality like? That's pretty good actually, I think you'd agree, yeah. I mean, that's pretty close up. It's almost like the closer you get, the better the picture is. Anyway, that is what you can expect to see there. Obviously, if you turn it, it'll go X or ways. But you do that with the cable, obviously. And that is that. Let's have a little look through these menus while we're here as well. OK button does nothing. And the down button. Oh, OK. So the you can invert the picture using the up and down button on the right and, and zoom in. Oh, that's cool. You can zoom in using the arrow button on the left. You can turn, I imagine, let me just turn that up for you. It looks like you can turn that light on 
and off. Although, oh, I see, yeah, so it goes to go off. And ah, okay, so it goes in increments there. So you have it at its brightest, not quite so bright, not quite so bright, and off. That's kind of cool as well. And here with the settings, by the looks of things, you have your video resolution there. I'm assuming we go up and down with these keys. If we just go back up again, I don't think you can change the resolution. You can go down the resolution, obviously, but uh, you can't go up because it is what it is. Image quality, 1920 by 2 at 2 meters, I'm assuming that means. And then you can change that to 1280 by 70. We'll just back out of there audio i'm not quite sure what the, maybe it records you talking over it as in if you're making a recording of i'm hoping you can see that and that isn't washed out guys i'm assuming that means if you're recording over it the time setting obviously is pretty self-explanatory you've got 29 gigabytes in there as well i don't imagine that's expandable we'll have a look in a second and then you've got your screen brightness which is by default at 80 percent and there's your version down there as it were your software version you can reformat everything obviously by just coming down here and that's pretty much it so we will try to get out of here i'm assuming yeah we'll just press the settings button and that is it i mean it's not overly complex it doesn't need to be does it really you can use this wheel here to move the camera so if i start using as you can see i'm moving that let me back out again you can see i'm using this jog wheel here almost to move the camera around to be able to view what i want to view that's kind of cool as well and when you want to take a picture you just take a picture and then when you're ready to record a video you simply use the M button over here and as you can see if you look in the top left corner there you'll see a camera that'll change to video and that'll change to the VGA thing which I'm not quite sure what that's about but uh, it'll be explained in the manual anyway I have just looked through the manual and there is a TFT slot just in there and it can be expanded up to 64 gigabytes why you'd need that much I don't know but it's always nice to have but as I said you take the picture as we've just shown you and then when you want to record video you just simply press the button and as you can see up there hopefully it's recording away nicely and then when you're ready you just stop so uh, that, that is a quick overview of what this bore scope does effectively its functions inside the case everything else like that what I'm going to do is show you how useful these things can be without just necessarily filming the inside of your engine or taking pictures of the inside of your engine as in this is a bore scope the clues in the name you'd go down through the spark plug holes and have a good look around see what's happening with your pistons etc etc i don't want to get into that but i will show you some things that it can be really useful for apart from that i mean for me i always find it very difficult to look at my brake pads as it were on my motorcycles now with this you can just literally slip in around the side take a quick picture or a video have a look and then basically decide if you need new brake pads or if they're perfectly fine you could in theory as well go in and over and under doorways that kind of stuff if you've locked yourself out and you want to see if the keys in the back of the door you know you could use it for covert surveillance i suppose and not that you should of course but you could use it for that if you wanted to because as you can see that would quite easily slip under most doors i should imagine and it's very very flexible as you can see and again used by this jog wheel not just by your fingers i love that i like it's really kind of sas style but anyway what i'll do is i'll pack this away and then we'll pop outside and i'll go into the car and i'll go to my motorcycle and we'll have a little kind of play around with this and see what it could be useful for and uh, then we'll close out the video and i'll tell you what the price is should you buy one one, are there better options etc etc let's get this back in its box i'll whip it out to the car and then uh, we'll go through a few things that i think you could use this for bear in mind this is an incredibly well priced unit for what you're getting here as well i'll talk to you about that in a second anyway let's get out to the car so as I said guys, we are out by the car now. Here is the Kai Wheats bore scope, the articulated bore scope, whatever that means. And here is our kind of camera setup here. As I said, I'm not gonna go inside the engine because I really don't think there's much need to do that. This is just a quick example of what you can do with one of these, just on the fly as it were. As you can see, we've got the camera here. If I need to find out what's going on way down inside there without trying to break my neck, I can simply poke this all the way down into here and there is our oil filter so we can probably take a nice little look at that take a little picture if we want to by pressing 
that camera there. I'm hoping you saw that. And there's our picture. We can go way, way deeper down into here as well because we've got the light, obviously. That is the under tray. Here is the rear of the radiator shroud, obviously, in here. You can see if you've got any leaks, anything falling off, as in one of those clamps could be falling off. You could go in down the back as well, as you can see here. You're going to have a really good look in there, see what's going on. If you've got any kind of issues, effectively, that you cannot see with the naked eye, this is going to be invaluable. You can get down into tiny, tiny, tiny little places like this. I think that's just extraordinarily useful, basically, if you are a home mechanic or if you've got a garage yourself and you want a, you know, a good quality ball scope that takes pictures and records as well. There's something else I wanted to quickly show you. Now, not too long ago, I actually had to replace the filler cap on my RAV4 and I could not work out where it was leaking. Is the huge pipe that goes in down here. And obviously with this, we can now, if I'm trying to do this one handed, as you can see, as you can see from here, we can get inside the fuel filler neck and actually take a really good look down inside here with the torch and find out where exactly this leak is. It's just another thing you can do with this. I just wanted to ever so quickly show you that. And there's a couple of other things, as I said, I wanted to show you as well. As I was talking about before, there are times when you cannot quite see what's going on with your brake pad situation. You know, do you need new pads? I think we probably do here, but without taking the wheel off it's going to be really hard to actually work out for sure with this of course you can as you can see from the screen down here as you can see from the camera we can get straight inside here now with the bore scope and have a good look and see exactly what's going on with our brake pad situation do we need some new ones are these ones going to be okay for the time being it's just incredibly useful to be able to get into these tight tight spaces without having to get all the wheels off jack the car up etc etc you can find out literally in a couple of seconds exactly what's going on where it is you think you might have a problem so that's just another added advantage of having one of these ball scopes i guess so that is it guys that is the ball scope the articulating ball scope from kaiwitz i gotta say this is going to be invaluable to most people who do diy mechanic work just to be able to diagnose things on the fly you know really quickly as i've just shown you there if you want to check out your brake pads if you want to have a look at the back of an engine as it were without having to get torches and you know break your bloody neck trying to get into spaces that you obviously can't see this is going to be invaluable home mechanic yeah for sure why not these are so well priced you may as well just get one i'm definitely going to keep this because i know there's going to be a time when i'm going to say bugger i wish i still had that little camera on a stick with the light there that i could record exactly what's happening wherever it may be behind the sofa on top of the boiler under the car on the motorcycle there's going to be a million times i'm going to wish i'd had this so would i recommend it absolutely and not just because they've sent it out i would definitely recommend this i think it's a must-have for you know any garage and diy mechanic you know home mechanic i just think at this price point the way this comes in this beautiful case and you can expand the memory it records it takes pictures it zooms in and out the picture quality is really really nice it's so simple to use as well you know you don't need a degree in engineering just to use this it's just a must-have I think and at this price why not why wouldn't you get your hubby one for Christmas buy your dad one I'm sure he'll absolutely love it links are in the description of course there is a special code that we're going to give you for 40% off while this video is uploading of course I mean I don't know when you're going to watch this obviously we're going to get this uploaded by the end of September 2024 but I'm hoping we're going to have a 40% discount code just for you guys for watching Budget Cars and Bikes. Generally speaking, there's going to be a 15% site-wide discount as well. I'll drop all those discounts in the description below well, where you can buy this and how you can use the codes. It comes directly from Amazon, so you've got no worries there at all. If you buy it and you don't like it, send it back. Trust me, you're going to like it. Anyway, from Budget Cars and Bikes, this has been the Kai Wheats Articulating Ball Scope. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then consider subscribing. Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook for more content. And uh, we'll have another video up in a couple of weeks' time on either another motorcycle or another car. But as I said, from Budget Cars and Bikes, this has been the Kai Wheats Articulating Ball Scope, and I highly recommend you get one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Discount code's in the description with a link to where to buy this. Take care, guys.